assalamu alaikum dear students how are you all uh, today i am going to tell you about the chemical formula so uh, we will discuss this uh, topic in detail in coming lessons as well but before in going into detail let me tell you what is chemical formula so basically uh, if i say uh, nacl if i say h2o if i say naoh hcl i mean sodium hydroxide i mean sodium chloride i mean water and i mean hydrochloric acid so basically what i did i represented these compounds in the form of a symbols okay so chemical formula is a symbolic representation of a compound all right but Uh, later and uh, moving on a chemical formula is of two types basically the empirical formula and secondly the molecular formula now what is the difference between the empirical formula and molecular formula basically empirical formula is also known as simplest formula if you know that and molecular formula is also known as regular formula now what does it mean for example you can see on your screens this structure that is we can see carbon we can see the hydrogen are attached this is mistakenly this is not ethane don't consider it is a methane it's just an organic compound you can see carbon here you can see hydrogen here so if i ask you to count the number of carbons here what will you do carbon 1 carbon 2 carbon 3 carbon 4 fine so you can see here here are c 4 and how many hydrogen are you uh, can you see in this uh, structure h1 H two three four five six seven eight nine ten. So basically, there are H ten. Now this is a very uh, famous structure that is known as benzene. How many carbon you can see in the structure? You can see carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, carbon five, carbon six. And you can see, and and you all know very well that carbon makes four bond at each at one time. So basically, we have carbon with uh, hydrogen. hydrogen 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 so basically we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 basically we have c6 nh6 here benzene formula now what is difference between empirical formula and the molecular formula so basically if i talk about benzene i wrote c6 H six, so basically this C six H six is the molecular formula of benzene. I would like to define it here as like that. That molecular formula is the formula which tells you about the actual number of atoms. Actual number of atoms present. in a molecule of that compound so hum keh sakte hain that c6h6 is the molecular formula of benzene the actual number of atoms which are present in a molecule of that compound now what is empirical formula then empirical formula is the simplest formula we can say that and this for example i have c6 n h6 and i want to simplify this thing to make it in a simple whole number ratio i have to find a number a highest number which will divide both of them i have to like write like that 6 carbon 6 hydrogens now the highest number i have that is 6 so i will divide by 6 on
it will make one carbon one hydrogen so i don't need to write the one the formula will be like that c h now this is the empirical formula for benzene now i can define by looking at this and uh, now i can define that what is empirical formula so basically the empirical formula is the simplest the simplest whole number ratio of atoms present in a compound all right or you can say or even you can say that empirical formula is the most reduced is a most reduced form of atoms present in a compound so here i would like again to summarize my lesson that so far we have discussed the chemical formula the symbolic representation we have discussed the empirical formula and the molecular formula molecular formula is the regular formula and empirical formula is the simplest formula or we can say the most reduced form of atoms present in a compound we have some more examples as well we will discuss later on but before that i would like to tell you that in my next lesson i will uh, derive the empirical formula and then molecular formula